Hello beautiful Virgos, we're going to do a general love reading, it may or may not resonate with you, if you find something does please interact with the video, you can do so by smashing the thumbs button, leaving a comment even if it's just a heart and of course sharing with your loved ones. If you're new to the channel my name is Leela, I reside in London UK and I'm also a Virgo, shouts out to my returning subs, you know who you are, I appreciate you. So from one Virgo to another let's get into it, eight of cups with regards to who is it that's thinking about you Virgo. Eight of Cups, maybe you walked away from this person. Maybe they disappointed you. There's distance between you and the person that's thinking about you, okay? Maybe you felt like, you know, this person no longer serves me. I'm done. I'm done pouring my love. I'm done pouring my cup into them. And I am keeping it moving. This is all about releasing. Um, it could talk about abandonment as well. So I don't know if you abandoned somebody, they feel like that, or you um or they did the abandoning okay but there is some sort of disappointment here there, there is an energy of walking away from negativity walking away from someone that no longer serves you and letting go okay uh leaving your old reality to pursue a new one who's thinking about virgo ah we definitely have disappointment we definitely have regret here sadness so somebody disappoint, is disappointed either with you, but I'm guessing with themselves. They're in some sort of regret here. One more card. Who is it that is thinking about Virgo? Nine of Wands. Some people just don't give up. Some people just don't give in. This Nine of Wands can indicate a weary soul, a guarded energy. Okay? Um, maybe... This person felt like giving up, but they keep coming back or vice versa, okay? Um, you're very resilient. I feel like this person's very resilient. And I just feel like someone, even though they may have given up or it felt like that or you've given up, they're still kind of in your energy. Maybe this is someone that wants to keep you at arm's length. Okay. We will clarify these energies. Let's move on to who is it that wants Virgo. Who wants Virgo? Who wants Virgo? Who wants Virgo? Interesting. Who wants Virgo? Wow. So whoever wants you, it's an intense connection, okay? Maybe fate has something to do with this, okay? The, the month of July or August, a Leo, maybe for some of you guys. I feel like there's been conflict. There's been disagreements. When you're happy, you're happy. When it's not happy, it's really not that good. When it's bad, it's bad. When it's good, it's good. If that makes sense. Okay, I feel like you guys actually have a lot of similarities and I feel like this is a strong connection. However, there has been some shit that's gone down. There's been some sort of conflict or disagreement. Yeah. So we will clarify. Uh, next question, who truly loves Virgo? Who truly loves Virgo? Well, I'll tell you something. Your friends and your family foremost truly love you. One more card. Who truly loves Virgo? Wow. Everybody loves you, Virgo. They may not admit it. Everybody loves you. Whoever this person is, they love you for the way you carry yourself, how you are as a person, you know, very compassionate, very nurturing, extremely nurturing, self-made, hardworking, determined resilient yeah a good role model there is somebody here that is attracted to the way you carry yourself mm -hmm. different from the rest we have taurus and libra energy here as well so we'll start to clarify and then we'll see what's coming towards you in love okay why is the Five of Cups here? 
Why is he five of cups here? Why is the five of cups here? Why is the five of cups here? Why is the five of cups here? Okay, so I feel like um, things have been slow with regards to the person that's thinking about you. Maybe it didn't turn out as the way you expect it. Somebody has a lot of weight on their shoulders here. I feel like this person is very intelligent, hardworking, but I also feel like this person is very cold and logical and there's no emotion here. Okay. Something became too much to bear. Tell me more about this five of wands. Why is the five of wands here? Why is the five of wands here? So there may have been arguments around money. This feels quite unstable, actually, um... And I feel like maybe you got to a point where you realise, actually, I'm giving in this connection, but I'm not receiving. Which can leave you out of alignment. But it feels like it was one way. It wasn't two ways, it was one way. You were giving, you were giving. Pouring into this person. And um, it not being reciprocated. Tell me about this Empress card. Tell me about this Empress card. Interesting. Tell me about this Empress card. What is this? Okay. So I feel like there is somebody here that really, really adores you, Virgo. They really do adore you. Um... But we have this temperance card in the reverse position. So you guys clashed a lot. There's a lot of impatience here. Yeah, I feel like clashes, like oil and water clashes. It's like, I'll always love you, but we just don't fit. And that could be how you think. That could be how you both think. I have no idea if any of that made sense. Let's see what's coming towards you in love. What's coming towards Virgos in love? What is coming towards Virgos in love? I've got to take it. The five of so I put it back. I'm guilty of that. And it came out again. What's coming towards Virgos in love? Okay, the moon card's on the floor there. I'm not going to. Am I going to? Yeah, I'm going to. Bend down and get it. What's coming towards Virgos in love? So I feel like there's going to be a conversation here. Listen, you're going to be given the opportunity for some of you guys to speak your mind. There's a lot of confusion with how you feel about somebody. And maybe you're suppressing it. Maybe you don't even realise that it's there. But I feel like I feel like it's going to come to light. Okay, maybe this is some sort of um, opportunity to start on a plain canvas, to start again. Something here to do with choices, something here to do with a romantic situation or a, a person, you and a person. There's going to be a conflict here or there's going to be a disagreement or something's going to be said. And I feel like you're going to hold back, but maybe it's time to... Not hold back, Virgo, and say what needs to be said. Maybe you've done it already. I don't know. What's the hidden truth for Virgo? What's the hidden truth? I remember every detail of that day. What's the hidden truth? It was my fault, but I blamed you. So for some of you guys, a gaslighter. I wish I could share my good news with you. Someone wants to talk to you. 
any more hidden truths. I left when I saw you with someone else. I love you unconditionally. It's time for me to heal now. So I definitely feel like, um, I don't know if that was a nervous laugh. Some of you guys kind of just like, you know what? I can't do this. I can love you, but I, I don't have to ever talk to you again. You know, I can love you, but I'm done pouring into you. It's time to pour into myself type of energy. Yeah. Anyway, I'm going to leave it there. Yeah. Remember, you can book me for a personal. You can follow me on the socials and you can catch me for live tarot. I freaking love you guys. I appreciate you. I want you to have a fantastic Tuesday. No. Is it Tuesday or Wednesday? Wednesday? It's Wednesday today, right? <laughs> it is Wednesday because we had the bank holiday. I'm sure of it. Um, yeah, it's Wednesday. <laughs> yeah, so from one Virgo to another, as I always say, be kind to others, but most importantly, be kind to you and the gifter will catch you on the rebound. Take care, Virgo. Mwah.